finding the volume of a sphere. We'll take a quick look at a couple of things here and that is uh, to find the volume of a sphere the formula is four-thirds pi times the radius cubed but we'll take a look at maybe a better way of doing that and that would be four times pi times radius times radius times radius that's all in the numerator and then you would divide it by three so uh, how do we get that well the four the pi and the r cubed the radius cubed are all in the numerator and you'll see that there that's just the numerator and the threes that's the denominator so the three cubed excuse me the r cubed uh, is just the radius times the radius times the radius uh, r cubed is not r times three it's r times r times r okay pi correct to two decimal places is 3.14 all right, let's take a look at an actual problem. Remembering pi is correct to uh, two decimal places, 3.14. What's the volume of a sphere that has a diameter of two centimeters? Well, first, we'll take a look at a couple of things. The diameter, it's the straight line that stretches from each side of the sphere through the center. Now, you can see it here's the green line. The radius here, that's the red line. The radius is one half of the length of the diameter. Uh, the radius is from the edge to the center of the sphere. And you can see here that this radius times that radius times that radius is uh, what you must multiply in the r cubed part. So let's get back to the problem. What is the volume of a sphere that has a diameter of 2 centimeters? Well, uh, if it's 2 centimeters, the radius is 1 centimeter. So we're going to plug in the 1 centimeter into the formula above. So we take the formula and we plug in 1 centimeter. Now it's just a straightforward multiplication. So we plug that all in and we wind up with 12.56 centimeters cubed. It's centimeters cubed because we had one centimeter times one centimeter times one centimeter. So that gives us centimeters cubed and all of the numbers multiply out to 12.56. We simply then divide that by three and we wind up with 4.18 centimeters cubed. Uh, you would get more decimals beyond the uh, one eight, but we can kind of chomp it off there since we used pi only to two decimal places. So we'll take a look at another example. Here we have the same formula uh, for pi times r cubed uh, expanded here. What's the volume of a sphere that has a diameter of six centimeters? Well, if it has six centimeters, the radius is three centimeters. So we simply then plug in the three centimeters where we had the r's, we plug in the three centimeters, and since we have three centimeters times three centimeters times three centimeters, we wind up with centimeters cubed, multiplying all the numbers, we come up with 339.12, two decimal places because that's what we had, centimeters cubed, divide that all by three, and we wind up with 113.04 centimeters cubed. All right, let's try to work another one. What's the volume of a sphere that has a radius of four inches? Well, if you'll push on the pause, you, you can work it out. The formula is above, and then you will be able to push on the pause again to see if you got it right. Well, and the answer is uh, 803.84 inches cubed divided by three, and that'll give you 267.94 inches cubed. We'll try another one. What's the volume of a sphere that has a radius of 5 inches? Press on the pause, use the formula above, try to find it, and when you're finished, press on the pause again, and that'll let you see if you got it right. Correct answer is 1570 inches cubed divided by 3, which is 523.33 inches cubed. Your comments, questions, and suggestions are welcomed, encouraged, and appreciated. You can write to me at alanmorris at yahoo.com.